channel and as the new moon approaches once again um we are here with our chinese horoscope this time for the dogs um now next month is going to be the last one of these for this year and then we're not actually going to have one in january um not even if not even on my uh tiktok which is where those will be being posted next year anyway um that is because the lunar new year is on the first of um february next year um and i'm going to just do them all at once that i'm going to take sort of a space of 12 days um sort of might start two days beforehand because it's going to be here at the tiger and i'll sort of do a 12 day span with lunar new year being on the date um that i upload that year's animal which will be the tiger um so i guess in that case there will be some in january but they'll be right at the end they'll be the 30th and the 31st and then on lunar new year um but those will all be on my tiktok so next month's pig horoscope is the last one for this channel um anyway um symbol of the dog occupies the 11th position in the chinese zodiac um you are a dog you were born in one of these years 1934 you are living quite the life that's it's quite a number of years to be alive that's what that's that's 60 years older than me um and i'm a 94 baby um but yeah um 34 1946 1958 1970 1982 1994 2006 and our last one was 2018 meaning i have a godchild that shares my animal which is really cool it's pretty it's pretty dope um, so for 2021, the dog, um, will be, uh, is, has probably been a, like if you were born here with the dog, this year's probably been a lucky year for you, full of energy and a year we will get involved in many different activities. Um, it's a very important year for us dogs. We have special opportunities to progress, to change our plans for the future, and to trace new directions, both in our personal and professional lives. And I've got to say, the, the the luck in the changing my professional direction, my per and, and, and trying to improve my personal um, present, um, definitely coming through real strong. I continue to see angel numbers everywhere. Um, at least once a day um, for very um, very confident in getting into um, actors next year starting off with wood dogs 1934 1994 the next one will be 1954 um, this year uh, will bring us interesting winning opportunities we straight charlie sheen and this thing um fire dogs 1946 and 2006 this year you will have energy and authority earth dogs of 58 and 2018 uh, this is a period of life in which love stories of charm can come what what love stories is a three-year-old having out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity. Um, Metal Dogs, 1970. Uh, 
the next one's gonna be 2030 metal dogs um, will work more efficient uh, and earn more money this year and then last but not least water dogs 1982 uh, in 2021 do something for your personal development uh, now I am aware that the year is almost over so most of this is more of a how accurate did this describe your year as as opposed to this is what you have to look forward to the only bit you're going to have to look forward to is right at the end with the november and the december month by months so if you want to find out what you have to look forward to stick around um, or if i remember to go to this time If I remember to put it in, I'll actually have the text there for you. Um, so for money and finance, it's very important um, that, this, that this thing actually lets me read the full thing without jumping every time I scroll up to look at it. Uh, it's very important to plan everything with great care and not overlook the projects that you know are profitable, paying attention to others that may fail. There is a major risk of losing money and becoming indebted in 2021. Uh, our tendency, and I do feel like saying our tendency since I actually am involved in this one, this is my group, uh, so our tendency of spending money on expensive things that we don't really need doesn't help either, nor so the tendency of playing with money by making financial speculation or by betting at the casino, um, neither of which are ones that I do, I'm more of the, uh, you know, Whoops, I spent $250 at Zing on Dungeons and Dragons. That's more my my issue. Um, I messaged you three hours ago. Why are you now responding? Go away. Um toward the end of 2021, your finances are as stable as possible. Uh, even if um, we're not the most rational shoppers um, and we often run out of money um, We will still have some settings set aside for rainy days. We are The smarts like that Throughout the year us dogs will tend to function more efficiently as part of a team than individually Run with your wolf pack Okay, don't try being a lone wolf Run with your wolf pack uh, however in the Chinese year, right? the, the lunar year of 2021, which does, as I said, continue into um, January of next year, we won't really care about the appreciation of others as much as how to find the best ways to achieve the best results. Right? So opinions of others, who needs those? How do we get this thing done and how do we get it done now is more what we're looking at. Um, in fact, all throughout the year, the only thing that we care to waste our energy on is to ensure that the outcome of our actions is positive, um, which is good. I like hearing that we're all working towards positive things, okay? There might be personal things, they might benefit others, doesn't matter. We're all working towards positivity, and that's what the world needs more of. So, go team. Um, professionally, we're going to be, uh, we're going to, professionally there are going to be, wrong there, brain, wake up. Um, professionally, there's going to be plenty of opportunities that will keep occurring uh, during the year. So, even though it's November now, we've got the rest of this month, December, January, to the end of the lunar year. There are still professional opportunities waiting for you. Um, the predictions of the predictions here are extremely um, optimistic, provided you remain involved and act every time you have a chance to, um, which I have done this year. Any time I've had a chance to try and um, harp on about afters, I promise I will. Once I find it, if I'm actually in or not, I will stop talking about it. Um, but yeah, every time I've 
had a chance to make that dream become a reality, I've done so. So, let my hopefully inevitable acceptance letter be a testament to us all. Um, don't let your actions go unnoticed, however. It may be difficult to put yourself in a favorable light, but there won't be a better year for such an attitude as this one. Um, so if you haven't already, it is time to try and change that. You have time remaining. Um, the improvement of the work pers um, perspectives that we dogs will see in, in the Lunar New Year, uh, in, the, sorry, in the Lunar Year of 2021, will lead to an increase in our income. Our financial situation is going to be encouraging. Uh, with the additional money that will enter our households, many of us will decide to buy things that we've been thinking about for a long time that are very important to us. Um, Health-wise, um, the horoscope for 2021 um, warns dogs about the importance of rest. And God, I know that today. Um, I got my second vaccination today. My whole, like this whole muscle is aching. Everything else, like literally just that one muscle that I'm feeling pain in. Um, which is why I'm not using that arm to speak uh, as much. Um, you know, like I'm not gesturing with it as much. Um, just try and let it rest because it aches. One on one side and then it has gravity pulling it across my body and that hurts. Why would it be the other side? And then I'm lying on top of it with my body weight on it and that hurts. It's just, who came up with this? Um, if you don't make any excesses, and it's not in our nature to do so, um, us dogs will encounter no issues in terms of immunity, which is good. Um, a chronic infection might bother you again, but nothing severe. Work is the only thing you might do in excess. Um, I mean, that chronic infection, at least from the way that's worded to me, sounds like something that you've had previously and not a chronic infection of you will contract COVID. Prayers that I am right. Um, so yeah, work's the only thing you might do in excess. Therefore, when you need to stop, do so. Um, you get involved in physical activities, spend time in the outdoor, and recover your strength on a weekly basis. This way, everything will be perfect. In love, we have a very small, love is usually not a, a, a full section, here it's three lines. Um, this year will bring love, uh, this year will bring luck in the love sector for dogs as well. People born in the year of the dog have the chance to meet someone special in the first months of, or, or had the chance to meet someone special in the first months. And then for them, a stable year was basically sort of you met that person and pursued a relationship with that person was likely to be very stable um which i feel like so for myself that person was myself and i feel like that that's kind of accurate i've had a pretty stable steadily improving year as far as my mental health is concerned so i feel like that's pretty accurate um our feng shui tips our favorable directions are north and south our lucky colors are silver and gold our lucky numbers and i've seen different numbers for this on other sites it says our lucky numbers are four and eight i've seen sites where it says that eight's one of our unfavorable numbers and our favorable numbers are nine, three, and four. Um, which is crazy to me because I was born in the year 94. So it's, it's right there. Um, and I think one of my, I think one of my numerology numbers is a three as well. So it sort of orbits me a little bit. Um, but this one says four and eight. So 
take those as as what you will. Um, favorable months will be the lunar months of July, August, and December, which is August, September, and then January calendar month-wise, because you're going from new moon to new moon. So the, the um, lunar month of December is actually the one starting in January next year until lunar new year. Unfavorable months are June and September, so June is the one starting in July. So you had an unfavorable month there in July, and then favorable month in August and September, and then an unfavorable month in October. Yeah, no, that follows. That follows really well for me anyway. Um, being a Libra, the new moon just didn't, didn't agree with me. Um, it hit me hard. Yeah, no, that, that tracks. Okay, so hopefully that means that favorable month of December, which is generally next year. I'm hoping that that means that I move. I'm hoping. Um, as for our symbols, the double carp symbol, um, Carps are a symbol of perseverance, of great ambition, and also an extremely powerful symbol of study and knowledge. It's something I hope to do next year, and gain more of next year. The double carp symbol is also a genuine feng shui remedy for harmonious... I mean, sure, harmonious. Harmony and happiness. Um, place a pair of feng shui carps next to your workplace desk, and if possible, in the northern sector of the your office, even if it's just the northern sector of your cubicle. It will attract an ascendant period in your career. Bring you a little bit of good luck there. Um, our other one is the Tree of Life with seven chakras. This is an ideal feng shui remedy for those who want to attract luck in love, wealth, and also to maintain good health. Um, it's the perfect remedy for stress, migraines, depression, anxiety, fear, which means I need to get one, because stress, depression, anxiety, all things I suffer from, uh, has a calming effect on the mind, and it ensures a peaceful sleep. I need to get one and put it right next to my bed. Um, best advice for us this year was the past is behind, learn from it. The future is ahead, prepare for it. But the present is here. Live in it. Um, and then, as always, our month by months. Um, now this one's going off of the actual calendar, because this one just says 2021 dog horoscope month by month, so it's just the calendar year. So you need to pay increased attention. So in January, you would have had to pay increased attention to the 12th, of January. Uh, heated conflict was likely to occur at work on that day, and it's probably because of some colleagues who delayed a project for one reason or another. In February, count your, um, you, you would have had to count your every penny and save up as much as you possibly could. After the 12th of that month, you were likely to rediscuss um, the salary you earn after finalizing your professional activity or even your work conditions. If at the end of that month, uh, at the end of February, you thought your issues were far from being over, the beginning of March uh, found you in a better mood. Um, additionally, once things were clarified, you were able to deal with all the projects you were involved in, and your partner might uh, may have also surprised you with a special gift. Someone from your close entourage probably contacted you in April for a professional proposal. Although everything seemed excellent, uh, you had to approach that with caution. You had to analyze all the data um, of the offer thoroughly and accept it only if the situation didn't involve high risks. In May, some acquaintances, friends, colleagues, etc. supported you in entering a partnership, making known uh, like that you're not like making your, your sort of knowledge known abroad, which was very likely um, 
and it probably gave me a couple of chances and opportunities and stuff. Um, it was at that time that you needed to show your understanding towards your life partner um, to sort of maintain the warmth in the relationship as well as not making any hasty decisions either professionally or personally. In June, um, you went out quite often during the first uh, couple of weeks of that month um, and you met interesting people. Um, yes, this was me. June was when I went to Sydney to film. Yes, this is when I went to Sydney to film the documentary I was a part of. Um, with some, you think of starting new projects, but the plans advise uh, before starting anything to finalise or at least reevaluate the ones you're I'm already involved in. At the time I wasn't involved in any and I did I did meet and meet a very couple of interesting people, one of whom I would like to work with again. So with some I thought of starting new projects. That is accurate. Um, financially I had no worries or expenses that I couldn't deal with. I was able to travel to Sydney um, for a couple of days and yeah. No no stress. July. The, interact during which you, the interactions with your partner is tense during the first part of, um, oh sorry, was rather, past tense here, um, was tense during the first part of July when it um, would be um, indicated. I swear the wording on this seems like it's just been put through Google Translate sometimes. Um, but basically it's saying that it indicated that you needed to show um, or that the relationship as a whole needed to show more understanding and compassion to those involved. Um, you faced the challenges as a dog native. Um, you faced challenges that tested your self-confidence, um, but everything ended up ending well. Um, and so with a well-deserved vacation, uh, that is with a well-deserved vacation into or at least with plans for vacation basically it's saying you faced challenges that tested your self-confidence but everything ended up well and at the end of it you made plans to or actually went on a little bit of a, a little bit of a getaway um, during the first part of August, things were pretty stable. No notable events occurred, and you took advantage of that period of time to rest, hopefully. The end of that month brought a series of challenges which you needed to treat with diplomacy. In September, you were busy with at least one of your parents, who seemed to suffer from some serious health issues. Uh, however, um, rigorous medical check indicated the right treatment, so there was no need to worry. Um, fortunately, things will improve financially, so at least from this point of view, you also won't have any trouble. October was likely to bring some health issues, such as viral infections or mild rhinitis. Um, so try to prevent them because during, or oh, so hopefully you tried to prevent them rather, because during October um, you'd be a little bit more sensitive than usual. And that, that, again, the full moon did not agree with me that last month, so the last half of that month was rough. Um, and I realised the pun there with this being all about the year of the dog. Um, a friend might invite you on a brief trip, so you need all the energy in the world. And that also, that also happened. A brief trip, yeah. I went to Port Macquarie and I ghosted my godchildren for Halloween. Um, in November, I can now actually read it as it is, as a prediction. So this month, 
you'll receive some money collaboration or contract renewal might also occur um, so you will, you will be content with how much money you have in your pocket um, you'll find out in what stage um, you'll find out in what stage is the relationship with your partner I guess that just sort of means like the, the, the actual status of your relationship will be clarified and you'll both be on the same page at some point this month but for the moment for whatever's to come don't be hasty in drawing conclusions you might think that they're bored just wait until they outright tell you don't go making assumptions because you may end up just shooting yourself in the foot um and then december i love that it starts with this because it's said this for pretty much everybody this year you might go on a shopping spree to buy something new to wear and some delicacies for the christmas party at least this one acknowledges that christmas is in december all the others are just like oh yeah you might spend a lot of money at the beginning of december or late november and it's like well, yeah christmas is coming up we uh we were about to get hit with that uh that seasonal depression you know like it's gonna it's gonna hit hard um you will also see a person that will bring back some happy memories um, and you'll be able to resume a collaboration or romantic relationship um, so if that means that the stage of your relationship in November gets clarified as like a I'm not really happy in this let's take a little bit of a break it may only be for a couple of weeks the end of December I'm sorry end of November to sort of middle of, de middle of December sort of thing um, it may only be for a few weeks or up to a month sort of thing, but hopefully it all works out well for you. Um, that's all for this video. Um, in the description down below is the 2022 horoscope. If you want to have a read of that, know that it doesn't take effect until the, uh, I mean the month by month takes effect on New Year. But the rest of it won't take effect until the 1st of February next year. Because um, that is when Lunar New Year is. Um, but it is there so that you can have a read for yourself. Know what to prepare for. For the coming Lunar New Year. Um, so that's, that's in the description. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Wherever they are. Um, if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. If you enjoyed this one, give it a big up thumbs up. And until next time, guys, keep your head screwed on. <laughs>